two suitcases and a duffel bag. Two suitcases and a duffel bag. <laughs> What's good? What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to another vlog. Uh, if you're new here, I'm Dustin and my man Robert is at work right now, y'all. This is gonna be kinda like a little mini vlog, kinda in a way. Today is Friday, July 26th. Six days to my birthday. Six days till August 1st, y'all. But, uh, child, it's very gloomy outside. I think it's gonna rain. Let me see if it's gonna rain because I think it is. No, it ain't supposed to rain today. The high is 89, so no, it ain't gonna rain today. But y'all, I don't know where we started off. Where we left off in the last vlog, I know it was kind of jumpy, kind of choppy a little bit. I didn't pick up back up that day because I got informed that we had a passing in the family. It really just threw me off all the way. Like it really, really did. I was informed that my cousin Terrell had passed away. If you guys have watched our Kansas City vlog last year around May, you guys, I'm pretty sure you guys probably seen him. But yeah, my cousin passed away. I was informed on Wednesday, but they said he passed away Tuesday night. Y'all, it just feels so weird. Like, it feels weird. I've been feeling weird ever since. Like, yesterday, I didn't do nothing yesterday. I literally just sit, sit on the couch the whole entire day. I don't know, it's kind of hard because, I don't know, my family hasn't had like a big loss in the family since like 2008 when my great grandma died, so it's just kind of hard. It's kind of hard even when I think about it type shit, like, I don't know. I don't know, but rest in peace to my cousin Terrell. Rest in peace, bro, I love you so much. I hope you are watching over the family, and yes, y'all. But let me, let me get on a better note before I start crying. Grunz had sent us some more little gummy vitamins, y'all. If y'all don't know, these are the best gummy vitamins. I love these so much. I'm gonna take these, and if y'all if y'all don't know, they're good for gut health, energy, immunity, recovery, beauty, and cognition. So got some good, some good little benefits off these. Of course, y'all see, I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm not gonna take y'all with me. Or do y'all want? Do y'all want to go? Y'all probably don't want to go. Cause I see me in the gym so much, I feel like. But I feel like that's life. Like, one thing about it, I don't get on here and just do random stuff that I don't do. Like, I go to the gym. Y'all know I'm pretty chill. Whatever, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna take some, uh, I'm gonna make me some fiber. Super, super good. Take your fiber. Y'all can't even lie a lot. I can't even lie. My spirit just feels so sad. Like, it just feels sad. Like, I just feel so sad. And the fact that it was like a week before my birthday, I'm gonna always just remember that. I'm gonna always remember that. Like, that's crazy. And y'all, what really like hurts me the most is y'all who been here, y'all know I'm originally from Kansas City. And that's where my cousin stayed. And I feel like I'm not, a, I'm not in Kansas, I don't go to Kansas City often like that. And he wasn't, he didn't come to Texas, so it was like, we didn't really see each other like that. But it hurts just because like, you think you have so much time with people and you just really don't. Like you really, really don't. You really gotta cherish people. You really, really do. You really do. But anyways, I'm drinking my little, make my fiber. Y'all take that fiber. I'll be trying to make, I'll be trying to like spread awareness and stuff like that. Y'all take that fiber. Take out fiber. It's so many people that's just randomly dying off of like colon cancer and things like that, just by not getting enough fiber in. Especially, especially us black folks. I'm always talking about us because I love us so much, y'all. We gotta take, we gotta take our fiber. We have to. We uh, I'm just gonna drink this. I just kind of wanted to start a vlog and just kind of tell y'all how I've been feeling or whatever like that. So, I don't, I don't know. I'm just, I'm sad y'all. I don't, I don't, I used to like grief. So it's like, it's random moments where I feel like I'm good and then I start thinking about him. And then I'm like, damn, I'm fucked up in the head. Like, so I'm just gonna go to the gym, work off, work out, 
I'm gonna do some chest and arms, some slight. Probably go get me something to eat. And then, y'all, I still ate, eat, haven't even sorted those clothes out and picked through the ones that I don't want. I was supposed to do that that day. But then, so, like, the moment I walked in the house, my sister called me crying, man. She called me crying. I'm like, what the, what, what, like, what happened? Like, what happened? And then we got the news. So, I still gotta go through those clothes. I gotta go fold the laundry that's on the bed over there. Y'all see that over there? Laundry over there. Gotta go fold them clothes. And yeah, I'm just gonna, like I said, I'm gonna go work out, try to get my mind off of things. And I feel like it's worse. It's bad. It's worse when I'm alone. Like, I kind of feel better when Robert around. But like, when I be alone, I just be like, think about it. So y'all, let me go to the gym. Let me work out. Let me try to lift my spirits up. And yes. Y'all, one thing about living in the Dallas, one thing about living in Dallas, y'all, I cannot stand 30, bro. I cannot stand 30, like, oh my gosh. 30 is like the worst designed highway to me. Like, people don't know how to drive. It's confusing. Like, people just don't know how to drive. Like, they don't. They don't know how to drive, bro. They don't know how to drive. People just be in the left lane, not passing. Driving in clusters, like people just get on my nerves. I'm a different person on the road. I ain't gonna lie, I'm a different person. That's one thing about Texas, Houston, and Dallas. Houston and Dallas, it don't matter how nice of a person you are, how sweet you are, how innocent you are, baby. Dallas driving here, that's gonna bring something out of you, baby. That's gonna bring some aggression out of you, baby. You gotta, you gotta be aggressive to drive. You gotta be drive aggressive here. And here in Houston, you have to drive aggressively or people will literally bully you off the road. And literally quite try to run you off the road, bro. They don't care. Anyway, I'm gonna wait to pick Robert up. Y'all know. It's 340. I feel like 30, it just, take, it just takes the longest to get through 30. Like, it takes the longest. I don't, I don't understand the design. I don't understand what they had in mind when they first designed. I don't, I don't think they imagined so many people to be here. In Dallas. Or whatever. We just made it back home, y'all. Why well, I've been sipping on this matcha for the past two hours. Say, at that point, just let it go. It's watery, it's nasty, and it looks like poop. Boy, it's not watery. It do look watery. Show them that. It look watery as hell. That look watery. Look that like does not look watery. I mean, yeah, I do. But it ain't It ain't watery, though. It looks like it's just melted ice. Boy, boom. But anyways, y'all. I got a little pack. Make sure our address ain't showing, honey. <laughs> got a little packet. Cause I can't edit that. I don't know how to do that. Your flip, skill. Can you turn it on? Just flip, like flip the package, like flip. No, no, no. Just flip it around. Yeah. Cause I don't want no slip up. Yeah, I got a little package, y'all. This came. Brother, so extra. <laughs> uh, I ordered this. I ordered this last week. Yeah, like, yeah, last week. Monday. Yeah. Last Monday? No, this Monday. For real? Yes. I did? Mm -hmm. Damn, they came quick because it said it wasn't coming until July 30th, so that's pretty good. How you open this up? Just rip it open. Uh, I ordered me some, I ordered me two pairs of shoes for our ATL trip. Hmm. Looks like a cool one for door day. They always sit in there. Yeah. You use it though. Everybody got DoorDash account already. I'm not, yeah, everybody got DoorDash account already, but y'all yeah, know we Uber Eats girls anyway with all the promotions that they give us, but I ordered me some Vans. Um, these are the little trendy Vans that people have been wearing. Oh, I hate when Vans don't lace your shoes up. That's irritating. Why? Wow. I don't, I like my shoes to be laced up. They, 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 but the, you sh they give you the luxury of lacing them up the way that you want them to be laced up. Oh, we're true. But y'all, these I got these little bands, thick, the little thick chunky, thick chunky little tongue, super cute, super skateboardish. These are called the Vans Crew something. Vans Crew, New School. They spell it weird, New School. But yeah, got these off of ASOS. Uh, these was seventy five dollars. But y'all know ASOS don't do taxes. They don't charge you taxes. They charge you shipping though. They ain't gonna charge you taxes. They don't charge taxes. Mm mm. You know, know you know. ASOS is UK. 
I've, I never realized, I never paid attention to that. Yeah. That's why everything be like even numbers when you ca cashing out. Hmm. These kind of cute. And I also, this is different for me, y'all. These are like this little chunky uh, strap backless kind of dress shoe. I don't know what kind of shoes these are. They got like the chunky sole. Very cute. It has they're a mule, a mule, a mule loafer. They're mule, a chunky mule loafer. A chunky mule loafer. Okay. Yeah, it's a mule. It's chunky and it's loafer. I like how they got the little detailing. They got the little crosses and just very. This is what sold me though. If it was like a plain black strap, I probably wouldn't have bought these. But yeah, these are like look cute. I'll probably wear these with like some little scrunchy socks or something like that. But super cute. I actually want to try these on real quick because I don't know if I can fit these or not. And y'all, low key, ASOS really like went downhill, low key, because ASOS used to be. ASOS used to be the spot. But they don't be having nothing. Like, they don't be restocking. They just don't be having nothing. Yeah, I can have fit these. This is how they look on. Let me see. What size are they? 11. What, like my feet hanging off? Yeah, a little bit. No, probably because you got a sock. Oh, oh. Oh, that sock is thick, yeah. You, it is so uh, thick. Yeah, your heel is kind of hanging off. By a lot, like, it's like, it's not even noticeable. Like, I should no, send it's, it's, I just send these back. Bigger size. You should send it back and get a bigger size. I'm just going to be honest. Because your heel hanging off the back. So, please, I can take a picture so you can see it. So you can actually see how noticeable it is. Damn, I feel like a damn 12 gonna be huge. They ain't got no half size? Mm-mm. I think, I think a 12 was gone too. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna be like, he should hang off. Let me see, man. Dang. Something told me just, let me see if they got a 12. I don't think they got a 12. Take the sock off. Child. You might not, you might not be able to wear, you might have to get like, I don't, I don't know, child. I don't know. You know I got thick feet. They still hanging out, huh? Yeah, they still hanging out. Yeah, you should have got that 12. Damn. I guess that's these not gonna work. Start a return. Oh, I'm mad, low key. But this is I was more excited about these in the van. That's what I say. ASOS don't never had nobody size and nothing. I'm like, ooh, they got the 11. Ooh, they got 11. Everybody getting a 12. But I guess that reason. Did you read the reviews? ASOS don't have reviews. They don't have reviews? No, they just have people who like the item. Oh. <sighs> Anyways, y'all, that's the little packages that I ordered. Let me start a return on this. Still fucking upset, y'all. All these motherfuckers got on black. She say that every time. They, they got on black. You just, you just mad because we looking they good. They all got on You mad because we look good. Because y'all bitches got on black and then it hits me. Look at the outcast, y'all. Oh, he always want to be different. But you want to be extra. You see? Look at the outcast, always trying to be <laughs> individual. Always got to be different. <laughs> <laughs> you should. So we coming to your what's going? Yeah. Yes. Ah. All right. Yeah. Did you have a good time? Yeah, I had a good time, y'all. I broke my nail. What's up, y'all? Happy Tuesday. Y'all might be hurt so bad. Anywho's, it is currently 4:56. 
we just walked in the house about 30 minutes ago. Dustin literally just getting out the shower, just turned the water off. We went running this morning, then we stopped at the plug house, and then we went to, we stopped at Tom Thumb and got some fish. We already had fish from when we went grocery shopping the other day, but it wasn't enough. Uh, I don't know if it's just me. Maybe this could be the different types. I don't know. But this is the catfish we had got from Fiesta. What, like, whenever we went grocery shopping two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. And this is the fish, the catfish we got from Tom Thumb just now. I don't know if it's just me or what, but they're like two different types of fish. Granted, they could have been raised in different places. But this is more of a reddish tone, and this is like, I don't know. This don't really have no redness to it, so I don't know. This have more of a fishy, hmm, I don't know, but yeah. End up doing that, and now we're back at home. But today, we're probably not gonna be doing a little bit of nothing. I need to edit, because I do want a video to go up Wednesday. Today is, yeah, today Tuesday. I want to be good for tomorrow. So, that could be the last video for the month, or I don't know, we, we'll figure it out. Once. Once I start to edit, then I figure out whether or not we want to go today. I mean, tomorrow or on my man's birthday, which is Thursday. This is his birthday week. Yes, y'all. It's my little birthday week, honey. <sighs> Leo season, child. I was gonna tell you. Did you know? Um, I didn't know that. Like the little vacuum, or not the vacuum, but the little air vent we turned on the bathroom. Mm -hmm. That's for like to reduce mold. So like when it's steamy, you. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I thought it was for when you poop and it takes the. I thought that too. Smell. I thought that too, but it makes That's sense. Before? It makes sense now. It does. Because <laughs> oh, you can't wow. just have to leave it steamy like that. Yeah, because it will turn into mildew. Uh huh. I never knew that. Did y'all know that? Well, let me know if my man put y'all on or something. Cause I never knew that. I thought it was always made for like the smell when you use the bathroom. Well, like, that makes so much sense. It does definitely <laughs> make sense. It okay, never makes used sense. it. But yeah, I'm making fish. Fried fish, we got some golden fries. Bay got some Oreos, family size, y'all. This is a family size of Oreos. Today is Tuesday. <laughs> we gonna see how long these are going to last. Boy. And then I got me some uh, sharp red cookies. Y'all, these cookies are so expensive. They were like $6 for 12 cookies. And honestly, I don't even know why I got more cookies because the lady, y'all know we had got cookies from my mom co-worker uh, two, about a week or a week or two ago. And they were so good, so she ordered us some more. And I paid $25 for those cookies. And then if you don't know what I use to fry the fish, I use the Louisiana um, fish fry. Make sure. Okay, there we go. Louisiana fish fry, and then I also use the New Orleans style. But I use more of the New Orleans style than I do of uh, the regular seasoned fish fry. And then we got <laughs> some tartar sauce, cause and y'all we we did not know Louisiana made tartar sauce. We did not know that, so we got that, and then we just got some some chips just to, to eat on, to snack on, or whatever. And also, y'all, yesterday our packages, the rest of our dresses came. Well, we still waiting on one more set of dresses to come which is from Sheen, but I told us that we're gonna try them on for y'all, but I'm still show y'all right now, so y'all can see what it's giving. So, we got this one right here, and it kinda, of, you put it on, y'all probably can't really tell, but it's, you just put it on and you tie it around your neck. <laughs> you tie it around your neck, but we're gonna see what it's really giving because it's giving us a little short ah, ass and dick gonna be out. And we not trying to have it. So that was one. And then, but I think this one gonna be shorter. And it's, I feel like this one gonna be shorter. So, what, what is this? Child, <laughs> we can't do nothing with it. We, we can't do nothing with that. <laughs> I think, oh, this was a choker. So this is a choker. You just wear it like that, but we're not gonna wear the choker. And this one, <laughs> it's just made like this. It's giving lingerie, but I don't think this lingerie. Ooh, I don't think this is gonna fit either, y'all. Y'all know I'm tall, like, look at it. <laughs> 
whole ride and then the back is out and it's like sheer i don't know if it's called sheer but it's kind of sheer in the back and then laced up in the front we're gonna try these on and see what they're gonna give for y'all probably later on today or something but yeah y'all those are the two and then dustin got a book called rich dad poor dad oh my nipple itch let me put all this stuff so I can take me a shower. I'm so ready to get this damn shit organized. This is a little book I got, y'all. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I read a few pages earlier over some tea, honey. And it was pretty, it's pretty good. Like, it's giving me a little bit of knowledge so far. So far, I've learned that a house is not an asset. It's just a little other, other things that I've learned throughout the book. But I'm gonna read a little bit more before I just sit down and really talk to y'all about it. But yeah, I'm trying to get into the books, baby, because you know they say they try to put books and they try to put knowledge in books because we don't read books. We're not prone to read books, but yeah. Just trying to kind of change my mindset up a little bit. As I'm getting older, you know, you want to elevate your mind and stuff like that. But yeah, my man bought this book. I didn't even know he had bought it to me. I didn't know he bought it until I looked at the Amazon card. I was like, you bought this for me? But you know, my man, my man always thinking about me. He always thinking about me. Y'all didn't hear me like, what you order from Amazon? And there be shit that he didn't put in the car. I'm like, you put it in the car, so I'm assuming you wanted it, you put it in the car. Yeah, he always on Amazon, baby. He be on Amazon every day. You be on Amazon every day, huh? At least four times a week. Mm -hmm. I don't be on Amazon that much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Ooh, I'm ready for this fish. I know it's for the bus, honey. Mm. What's up, y'all? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Y'all know what today is. Y'all know what today is, baby. Today is July 31st. It's a day before a beautiful black king's birthday, honey. Actually, two beautiful black kings, honey. Me and my daddy. Our birthdays is tomorrow. <sighs> it's so hot. <laughs> I just got through from walking Drake. It is so hot outside, like, for us that's in Texas, honey, please pray for us, because, please pray for us, because, baby, we waking up to 90 degree weather, like, we can't even start off in a high 70s and then work its way up to 90, baby, no, we starting off the morning in 90 degree weather, but anyways, the time is 9.52 right now, uh, I'm just gonna drink my, I'm just gonna two. Drink my little fiber. I woke up. I read some more of my book. You know the book I told you about yesterday. Drunk some tea. Y'all, I think tea is starting to be my little morning. I think tea is starting to be my little morning, like little thing that I do. My little morning rich ritual. Well, let me not say ritual because that sounds like witchcraft. But my little thing that I do. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like it make a difference with my day. But on today's agenda, uh, I'm going to go to the gym. Go get a little workout in. Probably gonna give me something to eat. Well, I'm gonna stop by Verizon first because we're getting some new Wi Fi. We're no longer with Spectrum, but if I get some new Wi Fi, then I'm probably gonna go get me something to eat somewhere. Get a little bite to eat. Probably, could probably go to. I might either try to go back to Everbowl. Y'all know last week I tried to go there, but it was just too hard to find parking, so I might either go to Everbowl. To go get my acai bowl, or I might go to what's it called? Uh, what is it called? Bagel Brothers? Is it called Bagel Brothers? It's something bagel. I think it's Bagel Brothers. Bagel Bros. I don't know, but probably will give me or go give me a little sandwich or something. I don't know. But yeah, I'm in good spirits today. Very, very good spirits. So happy that my birthday is tomorrow. I just feel weird. I feel weird. I'm gonna turn 23, baby. I'm gonna be 23. I'm gonna be 23. I was low key thinking about doing like a 23, a 23 things that I've learned in my life since you know been on this planet for 23 years. But I think I'm gonna say that for 25. <laughs> okay, now that I'm complete, my little workout is done. I'm about to head over to Verizon to get the Wi-Fi. It's ready for pickup. Go home, set it up. No, but after I go to after I get the Wi-Fi, I'm gonna uh, go to Shug. It's called Shug's Bagels, y'all. I think it is a place called like Bref Be Breakfast Bagels. I don't know. It's called like 
Bagel Bros or something like that. It's a place called that. I know I'm not tripping. But yeah, I'm just in the mood for a bagel sandwich. Oh, yeah. It's hot. Child. Get me home. Get me home. Get me home. But anyways, Wi Fi secure. Go home and set it up real quick. But th this is Wi Fi, it's just a part of our phone bill plan. So that's pretty cool shit instead of paying a whole different sep separate like thing for Wi Fi. But let me go here, down here to shoot bagel, son. Give me a little bagel. Give me a little something to eat. A lady had walked in. She was on the phone. She told them, Please, give me a minute. <laughs> and then she, she proceeded to say, of course, not everybody likes coconut. So it's like, girl, it's not, it's not a conversation. It's a conversation that you could be like, okay, let me call you back real quick. Like, it's not nothing to stay on the phone. Like, <laughs> one of the workers had started laughing. Like, girl. Oh baby, Lemon Avenue just be so busy. Lemon be so busy. I really could have went by. I don't like y'all. I'd be like, I'd be like real safe on the road. I'd be like real safe on the road, y'all. I, I don't play those games. I'd be real safe. I do not play with my life, honey. I could wait an extra two seconds to go. Oh, I could have went. Oh, I could have went. I hate when people put their blinkers on last minute. That's irritating as fuck. Come on, bitch. Do these is this is it is this the parking lot? Oh wow! It's the motherfucking it's a drive-through, y'all. <sighs> There's no way to go back out. You gotta go all, go all the way around. Ain't no way to go back around. Child, let me see. That's let me. <laughs> that's childish. <sighs> I gotta go all the way back around. Sorry about that, y'all. The camera had died. But I got my little Shug's bagel. Y'all, this bagel was damn near ten dollars. It was like nine. It was like nine something, nine forty something. But it's pretty. It's a nice, pretty size. It's a nice little size bagel. I thought it was gonna be like a little small. I was kind of iffy about it. But I got just a regular uh, plain bagel with sausage, egg with American cheese. Y'all know how I like my cheese on my eggs. And then I got some sausage too. I got sausage. So this is what it looks like. Let me give y'all a good like show. This is what it looks like. Real fire. That look fire, y'all. That, that whole look fire. I should have got some salt and pepper on my eggs, but I wouldn't even think about it. But let me give this a try. God is great. God is good. Let us thank you for our food. Hey, Amen. Make sure y'all pray. Always make sure y'all pray. Don't, make, don't mind the mess in the back, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's good, but next time I'ma definitely use, put some salt and pepper. I'ma add salt and pepper. Good morning, y'all. Good, good morning. It's August 1st, Thursday. It's my man's birthday. Happy birthday to my man. Y'all have already gave him, given his, his, given him his speech. I didn't sung to him, but um, it's currently 10.36 in the morning. I'm on my way to Waffle House to get us a breakfast before we start the day. I low-key wanted to go to yoga. He was saying that he didn't think we was gonna have enough time and this and that and other. And he was just like, he wanted to eat Waffle House. I was gonna cook, cause he wanted breakfast food. I was like, well, I cook. He was like, nah, I just get Waffle House. I was like, well, cool. So I'm on my way there now to pick up our stuff. And then, 
yeah, we got haircut appointment at 12. And then we're gonna get our eyebrows done. And I know he was saying yesterday, it might have been yesterday or the day before yesterday, he wanted to a uh, graphic he wanted to find a graphic tee. Go thrift a graphic tee. So I don't know if he still wanna go do that or not. If he do, then we'll do that. We also need to go to my mom's house because I gotta pick up those cookies from her coworker before we head out. And then what else do we have for today? I don't know. We just we'll see how the day goes. I do need to get some work done. Cause we got a sponsorship we gotta do. And yeah, we gotta get that done before we leave and go out of town because it's really kind of overdue. And then pack because we're leaving out tonight to go out of town and y'all i'm so happy that we're going out of town this year for his birthday because the last two years we have not been able to go out of town because we've always moved like this always been the weekend that we will have to move and the fact that that didn't happen this year which i knew we we had made it clear like it's not happening this year like we we, we already i'm like no i'm like because we always go places for my birthday and we're gonna go places for years. He originally wanted to go to Vegas, but when that glitch went on and people were stuck at the, the airports and all that, I'm like, mm -mm, mm -mm. didn't want to deal with all that, which I don't think that's still going on now. I'm pretty sure they got it back in order, but I don't know, that just made me like, hold up. Because one thing about it, I would hate to be stuck somewhere. Far as hell. Baby, say six miles to E. Child, I think I'ma just because I don't want to fill up yet because I'd rather get an oil change and then fill up versus filling up and then driving around ripping and running. And y'all, I've been looking at cars, so it's 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 getting that time. I'm like now that Dustin, we don't work together, so we don't really technically have the same schedule. I don't I want to get a car now because I know he hates waking up taking me to work and just that kind of puts a time frame in what he wants to do because he got a you know he has to make sure that he's there to pick me up when it's time for me to get off and I don't I, don't, I just feel like that's an inconvenience because I can have my own car like there's no reason why I can't have a car so I've been looking at cars and yeah, so here in the near future, we might be going to go test drive some vehicles and things like that. I'm going to be leasing a vehicle as well. I'm not financing another car. No. Fuck that. Never again. I keep that car for three years. I'm giving it back. Upgrade me. Give me, give me something new. Your water from uh, There's a store right here. Walmart. Oh yeah, girl, through the ore chain. What's up, y'all? What's up? Happy birthday to me, baby. Happy birthday to me. Y'all let me know. Have, tell me happy birthday. Tell my motherfucking man happy birthday. Yes. This is Jordan year. Yeah, 23. Definitely my Jordan year. Most definitely. I don't remember when you were 23. Boy. I literally just said the yes. I was like, what was we doing when I turned 23? Well, we turned 20. I turned 23 during the pandemic. Yeah. And I had a house party. That's crazy. Because <laughs> I wouldn't even know who to invite no. now if I had a house party. Right. That's crazy. See how your friends took or not? It should be over. But it's currently 12.56, y'all. We've been up for a little minute. We had breakfast this morning. We had Waffle House. Yeah, and, so it's like yeah, nothing, nothing major. Y'all know I told y'all yesterday I wanted to go to Yoke, but we didn't even get up in time to try to yeah. do all that because they closed that too. 
So, oh my gosh, it's so hot, y'all. We just got our hair cut. Uh, I was actually able to get an enhancement this time. It looked really, really good. Yeah. I thought I wasn't going to be able to, but like, once I heard that little spray bottle came, it was like, I got happy. I figured you had more hair. Yeah. But, oh, somebody made a comment. I don't know if you had seen it or not, but somebody had made a comment was saying about the, um, the, they thought that our barber messed Justin up the last time when he cut his hair. But y'all gotta remember that Justin had already had his hair on the sides faded. So like, it wasn't gonna be evenly to his edges, if that makes sense. Yeah. So, but he had bring, he had bring that to his attention when he was trying to get ready to cut his hair. Yeah. He was saying I could have grown it out, like waited two more weeks and just got the sides in a back taper. But, or I could have like took some off, which I did. Cause I, I don't know. I feel like it wasn't even all the way around anyway. Yeah. I feel like this would make it more even. Yeah, you can't really tell either. Yeah. Yeah. Your waves are already starting to form. Yeah. But right I, now. I am so thirsty, y'all. Oh, it's all right. I forgot they built a Waffle House right here. We're going to get us a little oil change from Walmart. We're going to see how long, if it's not a long line, because. I don't feel like wait. That's what I'm saying. We gonna have to wait anyway because we driving. So, but I don't want it to be extremely long. I don't want to wait like no two and three hours for no oil change. Maybe because it may love ten, baby. I'll be I'll in and out. Ten minutes, yeah. About ten minutes. Soon as you get to shopping, they say your car ready. So we finna go back here into and we at the Walmart in Desoto. So we finna see how this gonna go. I'll be forgetting they even have a service department. I don't think I've been here. <laughs> Little trash shit. I don't know. Oil change. See, um, the, how long the wait is. Steven! How long for oil change? Ah. Never mind. Never mind. He looked nervous. He did look nervous, child. Betray him. This thing. Oh. We need to find some. Um, oh! Cause when you a badass bitch like this. Now we just came in here and y'all be blowing bullhorns and shit in here. He's doing fast or what? Looking for um gas treatments. You put in the gas tank after that might be. Gas treatment? Yeah. What they do? You put it in your when you gonna travel every so often it keeps your um your fuel injector clean and all of that. For real, I know that. Yeah, it's a lot you don't know because you don't be dealing with all that. You wanna fight it? No, cause you, you, you been for the fight. You been for the fight. You been for the fight. Okay. Cause you got a little haircut and don't know how to act. But you know, you always start acting different when you get a haircut. Who, me? Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm just fine. But y'all, he said, what, 35, 45 minutes, so we just gonna get chill out. Get the stuff we need. I'm thirsty though, we gonna get some drinks. Yeah, get some drinks. Okay, let's find a stuff. My vehicle has been checked in. Period. But yeah, y'all, we just went to walk around Walmart. I ain't got time to deal with Walmart because y'all know last time we were trying to vlog at Walmart and yeah, the groceries. On we had to leave the groceries on the belt because I was going to get into it and with the greeter and the customer service people. What? Oh, it was rapid to go. They doing all they got them talking. They need to bring us the fucking vehicle. Yes, she's sitting right there. God, it's so freaking hot. There she come. She coming. New, new fresh little oil change. You should go to the car wash, low key, too. There's no point. Why you say that? Because you got We're it back driving there. in the middle of the night. Yeah. And you got you got my car back there. Baby, I didn't get. You well, driving all, more. All your candy wrappers. I ain't no all candy, baby. Bye. Stop idolizing. Stop idolizing. Stop, stop you, idolize. you, stop idolize. Wrappers, you don't clean your yeah, car I'm out anyway. You, you don't clean you your car out anyway. I'm not going to let you get away with it. You don't have bottles. Yeah, Dr. Pepper bottles from work. When? Barbara, I had to clean those things. When? Uh, what, 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 kava bags, all that. You bring that kava bag out the house. <laughs> How you gonna bring trash out the house and put it in your car and then instead don't throw I'm it in the trash? I'm not letting you get away with it no more. I'm Maybe not, you I'm was done. barely cleaning that car out anyway. Boy, boy, my car stay clean now. Mm. You just wanna get it to it because I look good. Baby, bye. That's it. Just, you think you look good? Mm-hmm. I know I look good, hey. Oh, I was like, where'd she go? Uh, don't be driving her like that. Where? Sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Wait a minute, don't touch. I like how you bite them in the candy coat and still stay on there. You know what I'm saying? You know how some of them like to bite it. Bite it. Shit. What drink is that? Oh, Mama, can you, you want to watch him? You want to watch him? Yeah. You go off this video, right? This is you. We try Salvation Army. Mm -hmm. We even my face break out. Keep no, I'm me. not. You need to get some. You be putting on sunscreen on your neck. You mm -hmm. need sunscreen for your neck because your neck breaking out. I'm just so thirsty, y'all. I don't know why. I've been thirsty hydrated. all day. Bro, these good grapes are so good. 10 out of 10. Yes. Especially the Kool-Aid ones. The Kool-Aid ones was my favorite though. The red Kool-Aid. We got our cookies. My niece over here. I didn't even know my niece was here. Why she told me I'm gonna go with child. She went and put her shoes on and everything. Mm -hmm. I had to tell her that we was gonna bring Drake back, which we are because my mama said she'll watch him. But we had to tell her we was gonna bring Drake back for her to stay. Huh? Y'all, she had unlocked the door. We started walking out the door and everything. Like, oh, I'm gonna have to take my niece somewhere when we come back in town. And not moving around. But so rough. Now we about to yeah, like go to Salvation Army. Are we? Um, you think they have some on the strip? With the little thrift stores, probably not. Yeah, they probably could. Do they have prayers or Salvation? The one called the one about the added closet one. Yeah. Added Salvation Army on Maple. So we can do that and then work our way back up. Yeah. Okay. Stop out the plug first. Oh yeah, we do got to go to the plug. I was so gonna be good. You know, sometimes I have to remind him. Cause who's not gonna have nothing on the road? Y'all, one thing about this was saying the other day. One thing about Atlanta weed, Mirrors of Wanta. It's trash. It's trash. It's so trash, honey. And they swear, they swear they got that exotic and all this and that. Baby, Texas got the best stuff. Texas got the best weed. That, no, that one where I said when we first went to Atlanta, that one time we had went to the plug house in College Park. Uh huh. Was it College Park or was it Bankhead? I think I would say it's College Park one, but I think Bankhead. No, it was Bankhead. Yeah, we had went to this trap, and you couldn't go in the house. You had to go walk to the walk window. To the window, <laughs> and the window had barbed wires, not barbed wires, but it had a, a, a metal gate, and you couldn't see inside of the house. All you heard was a man talking like, "What you want?" Yes, that's all he would say. What you want, and okay. that's it. But I'd be scared to go to that one now. But. Show me my man for to be outside in them, L in them, in them ATL streets. Show sure is, baby. We for to be outside. Baby, turn it up. Hopefully, run into some of y'all. Yes. Maybe I see us. Don't don't hesitate to speak. Yes. If y'all ever see us, don't ever, don't ever, y'all ever hesitate. Cause y'all lately, I've been getting like, I've been looking mean, and I don't think I look mean. Cause it's a spirit, uh, spirit people chop it over you. Yeah, I'm not. I feel like I'm very, <laughs> I'm a very fun person to be around. But I feel like people um, be take having, be from being moral. blunt as in like me and like somehow, I, yeah, I won't talk because I don't really be knowing what to say sometimes. So I come off as uh, interested. Or yeah, just, uh, it comes off as uh, I can get. I mean, I can get it from that aspect of it, but just blankly just mean. I don't think I'm just a mean person. Like, I'm not gonna ugh, why are you talking to me if you walk up to me? I'm not gonna look at you crazy or, or say anything to you. Like, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up talking to me. Like, I feel like I'm a very respectable person. Long as you respect me, I'ma respect you. But niggas like mean niggas. Niggas, niggas like what you mean to them, though. I'm cool. They think that's the sign <laughs> that they want you, baby. I, uh, I don't want no mean ass nigga. I'm not like that. They do be thinking that. But that's what the girls be wanting though. They don't they don't want no they don't want they significant the others. They don't want they niggas saying, Hey, how you doing? You can't even just you can't even nod and say, Hey, how you doing? Are you why you speaking to that nigga? You know him. <laughs> what if I was like that? Mm -mm, I can't be with you. I couldn't do it, honey. Why you liking his pictures? I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad Robert is not like that, honey. That'll be overwhelming for me. 
Ooh, but anyways, y'all, we should, yeah, that's what we're about to do. So, we'll check in with y'all once we get to the next destination. Y'all, so the, the, the medicine is secure. Now, we're about to walk into Salvation Army, see what type of little stuff they got. Hopefully, they got like some cute graphic tees and cute little stuff. Because, baby, sometimes you got to come. So Every time we come here, they be picked through, pretty much. So, I think... Uh, up and stuff. Baby, they don't care, honey. And they gonna sell it for twice as much, huh? No. We gonna see what they got. Hopefully, they got something in here that we can deal with or, you know, maneuver. Yeah. After they close? <laughs> Not because they close. Not they close. But I really wanna, um, I think I told y'all I found like a cute graphic tee to like kind of cut up in a way, cut the sleeves off of, show my little muscles off, y'all, because it'd be so hot. They ain't switch nothing up. The girls be having a lot of stuff. The girls got Target brands for $1.99. Y'all. It must be easy to be a female, huh? For them price of $1.99. Wild Fable. Child. I wish. Let's see what it's giving for us. Mm, they got white colors too. Yeah, females be having some stuff. You could throw your little piece of together little outfit. Y'all know, y'all know, it's dark, y'all know who these people is. Cause I don't know. Y'all literally, it's been like a whole six hours. It's currently 10.05. Y'all look at my screensaver. I don't know, I, be, I change it so much. But it's currently 10 on 7, 10 on 5, I'm sorry. And I literally just got done with the sponsorship. Well, I got I just uploaded it to YouTube to send the link to the people. When y'all see the sponsorship, y'all gonna be like, what are y'all doing? But it is what it is, um, it's coin. But now I'm about to, I end up, y'all, right, let me tell y'all about DoorDash. So y'all know we normally order off of Uber Eats, but Uber Eats didn't want Cheesecake Factory and Dustin wanted Cheesecake Factory. So we had used DoorDash. Y'all tell me why my my whole my whole order was not even in the bag. Dustin got Louisiana, what you get Louisiana chick pasta Louisiana chicken pasta? Dustin got Louisiana chicken pasta and then I got some um what did I get? The cup, the, what is it? Peas, carbonara, the bacon and peas, carbonara, chicken or so, something like that. I can't, I can't remember, but it's something that I always get every time I pretty much get Cheesecake Break 3. And my food was not in there. Not to mention y'all, the lady, so we stay on a one way street. The lady kept passing up the building. So she had to go all the way around and it was already getting a little congested because y'all know, again, we stay in like a high, a high, um, there's a lot of people coming and going, coming and going, coming and going. So she just kept passing it up. I thought she was lucky trying to steal our order, but I ended up getting the food or whatever and the food wasn't even right. So DoorDash, um, Door, DoorDash refunded me my money back because like, yeah, like how y'all missed my whole, like literally a whole meal was missing. Now I'm about to get Drake situated. I already got to get him situated, pack his stuff up, take it to my mom's house, probably fill the car up while I'm out, and then come back and attempt to take a nap because we're going to leave out around 4. So <sighs> that's what we got going on. My lips are hella dry. Oh, and for dog, uh, dog owners, I want, I want y'all to get this. I forgot where we got this from, but this waterless shampoo um, for dogs, the cedarwood, y'all, this smells so good. And it's cruelty free, human graded, formulated with plant ingredients, and hyperpyrogenic. Um, so, 
Yeah, gentle, no rinse formula, moisturize and soothe the dry skin, remove odors. And yeah, it smells so good. I don't know, it just smells so good. So if you need some good dry shampoo for your dog, make sure to try this out. I think we got it from Target, but if not, I'll try to link it below. So yeah, but let me get his stuff together and then I'll talk to y'all once we get in the car. Or I don't know, I don't know, I might not even take y'all, I might just, I don't know, whatever. Do y'all catch how money when y'all um, get out the ATM machine? I don't give a damn how um how much technology it got. <laughs> I ain't trusting it to count my money. I'm gonna always count my money. Even with the bank tellers. I'ma count my money. But yeah, as y'all see I'm leaving the bank now. Good Drake right here on the cut, y'all just staring at me. He really low key mad because he don't really be sitting in the front like that. Because, <laughs> of course, both of us be up here, me and Dustin, and he be in the back. And I got the music going, and he is. No, chill out. Got the music going, and he just really don't want to hear it. Oh, he smells so good, y'all. His stuff, the. The dry shampoo, the waterless shampoo smells so good. It's just, it's making the whole car just have that scent. But it, but it doesn't stink. It's not like a dog scent. <laughs> but y'all, so we are about to get ready and head out. Yes, baby. We all packed up. We all ready to go. Two suitcases and a duffel bag. Two suitcases and a duffel bag. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm just using this big soup. I need to pop it. It's okay. Ooh, it's over. Oh, it's heavy. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, y'all, everything is all packed. It is currently 3:49. We're moving right on time. So yeah, clean up the kitchen, straighten up the living room. Clothes right, do not gonna get when we get back. And yeah. Oh crap, I gotta set up the, okay, I gotta set up the camera really quick. So we'll talk to y'all when we get in the car. Okay, y'all, we can stop at Racetrack. Track and Forney. And Forney, y'all, tell me why they had two of these essential. This is not essential. Yeah. Essential. 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 These are 1.5 liter bottles. They had two for five, and then they had some Celsius that was two for 450. Okay, so they had some deals, huh? So I got me a Celsius, y'all, because I have not been asleep. And then I also got me a pizza. Y'all, she was putting it out as soon as I was walking in. Mm -hmm. I was like, ooh, it, it just, it smells so good. You wrong. You wanted a slice? You was wrong. I didn't know it was fresh looking like that, huh? Cause y'all know I didn't really get to eat nothing today. Mm -hmm. mm. Is it like box pizza? Yeah, they could have cooked it a little longer, but it's some, it's it's cool. She said she said it's gonna be sitting there all day, so gotta eat enough time to cook. It's fresh though. Mm -hmm. People gotta be at work at like 5 or 5.30 or something because everybody's starting to pull up. I'm so excited for this little road trip, y'all. Y'all know we love road trips. We gotta pray before we pull off, though. Yeah. We got like a nine hour ride. Yes. Um, play about you. Who? Oh, stop. 
You know what I mean? Oh, you, you pissing me off. Like, oh, she hate you. Robert, sometimes Robert remind me of, like, when my used to do shit, like, just to piss me off. I like, just don't want to, like, make me mad on purpose. Sometimes he reminded me of that. Like, like... Let's hope we couldn't do pranks out, cause shout out. But yeah, y'all, we just sitting here waiting on him to get done rolling up, and then we gonna get back on the road. Should go down that one. Mm -mm -mm. It seemed like summer, y'all. I cannot believe Cardi B is getting a divorce from Offset. The same day she announced what her album coming and she pregnant. Oh no, the same day she pregnant, she said she was pregnant. I was like, when she announced the album coming? I started tweeting and said, Offset cheated on Cardi B with a bitch I fucked on a blow up bed in my mother's house with no money and I ain't even drive. so bad yeah, I didn't want to pull over on the highway because I just I don't know I don't like pulling over on the highway unless I absolutely have to I'm like I might as well fill up while we're here I'm glad I didn't put 40 in here because it's not even gonna take the 30 I put but where I'm wherever I'm at I know I'm in some little small little country town it's black people because the people in the store are black and the people that's um, getting gas and stuff. Everyone is black so far. And Hispanic. Literally, y'all, uh, in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. You heard Shakiri, she won her first race? She did? Yeah, her first mm -hmm. race. 